SD Tempest ploughs through the lumpy water of the Solent. On the bridge, her master Bob controls her three powerful engines with just fingertips. As the Dutch-designed vessel enters Portsmouth Harbour, you can picture what she'll be doing in just a few months, guiding the new Queen Elizabeth-class carriers into their home port and alongside. And she certainly has the manoeuvrability and power to do it. 360 on the spot, no dramas. But it's when Tempest is alongside that you get a truer sense of her. Compared to the original tugs operating here, you can see she's much bigger, over 100 feet long, around 45 wide. Dave Goad supervised the tug's construction in Poland. I think it's a pretty good, pretty good asset for the company, and uh, she'll look good in front of the carrier when she comes in. We need a new one because of the size of the carrier. I mean, you need that extra bit of strength just to pull her in and get her berthed alongside. I've got a strange feeling of Renault 5 looking at the Tempest. That's because of her huge grey bumpers, or fenders to name them correctly. They've been especially ordered from China as a bespoke item. The old tugs have got standard black, but these are grey because they won't mark the grey paint of the carriers or other naval ships as the old ones have done. A detail, but it illustrates the attention to getting this right. On board now and to the business end, the engine room. Chief Engineer Adam Lay is getting ready to start her up. The total power rating of our, of our propulsion system is just shy of 5,500 kilowatts. So our main engines, which we have three of them, are Caterpillar 3512 Charlies, and we've to subside with the generation side of it, we've got Caterpillar uh, Charlie uh, C9 generators. Sounds great, but what can they do? One of the commercial vessels that we, uh, we brought in, which would have been the size of the old uh, carriers, like the Ark Royal, uh, we weren't going over a quarter of our power to move, to move her. So uh, in quite realistic terms, we are more than capable to uh, manoeuvre the, the, uh, the bow of our new air aircraft carrier. In total, Tempest has 80 tonnes bollard pull power. It's certainly a lot double some of the existing tugs working in the harbour. But let's get back to sea. Bob Wilkinson is master today. Two crews rotate on the Tempest. Three weeks on, three weeks off. The controls, well, they're basically azimuth pods, so they, they rotate 360 degrees, take 16 seconds from right ahead to right astern. So I'm using the thrust, now, thrust vectors to control the tug, uh, getting it to do whatever I want, sideways, forwards, ahead, backwards, so I can get it into position where I want it to do its job. So a sideways example at seven knots, um, so we can manoeuvre around the ship at quite fast speeds to get to where we want to push on, pull off and do whatever the pilot or vessel commander asks us to do. Tempest stands ready to bring home HMS Queen Elizabeth when she arrives in Portsmouth later this year. She's the right kid for the right job. But more than anything, our brief glimpse of tugboat life has shown us what an essential job these mariners do. Often in the background, frequently overlooked, but without them and their sturdy little boats, the Royal Navy really couldn't function. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Portsmouth Harbour.